Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I am going to discuss one more interview question which is frequently asked as an automation tester. And what is the question here? I want to find the sum of digits of a given integer. Suppose a number which is 6789, I want to find the digit the, the sum of digits. Here the digits are what? 6, 7, 8 and 9. I will try to find the sum of all digits. To, to sum all the digits, we must have a logic and that logic we will discuss. First of all, understand the logic itself. It would, it would consist two logics, I would say. First would be n percentile 10, which would give remainder and n slash 10, which would give quotient, which I have already discussed in one of my lecture, which was reverse a question reverse a number, question number 4, even I will paste the link of this video itself in the present video. So what was the logic itself? If you will divide any number using percentile, you will get the remainder. What does it mean? Suppose if you divide 57 using percentile 10, what you would get? You would get 7 as a remainder, which is the last digit. You got the last digit? Again, if you will divide n by 10, means n slash 10, you will get 57 slash 10, you would get 5, 5 as a quotient. So only these two logics are required to solve our purpose. And one more logic will be required. That, that is an easy logic, which is sum equal to sum plus any condition. Whatever condition you want to give, you can give where you will use sum equal to 0 and you will satisfy your logic, I would say. So let us begin. So now we will switch back to the coding part itself. So, so what we would start as a, I will give int n number equal to something, whatever you want, 6, 7, 8, 9, you have given. And we will start the logic. And what is the logic? We, we require to have the each digits present in the number itself and I already told that by by dividing you uh, by using percentile 10 you will get the the remainder itself so we will use that logic and for that logic itself we will required while loop and what would be the condition I will tell you later only I will give while and here inside that I will try to have the logic whichever I have already dis discussed that is n percentile 10. So I will use a, a variable remainder equal to number percentile 10 semicolon. It would give me remainder and as we have used remainder, we have to initialize it means declare it I would say rather I would say. So I will use interim semicolon. Again, what I need to do? I need to divide that number using slash. So I will divide that number, number divided by slash. It would give the quotient and I will give it as num equal to num divided by 10. Again, in between, I would have a condition to get the sum of all digits. And to get the sum of all digits, what, what I require? I require a variable sum, int sum equal to 0 I will give in, in the initial point itself and I would try to give a condition. So what should be the condition? Sum equal to sum plus condition as I have already mentioned. I will give sum equal to sum plus condition. I am using that. So what should be the condition here? I want to have the sum of all digits and sum of all digits is what? Each digit each digit means here what I need to do. I need to sum 6 plus 7 plus 8 plus 9. So it would give my output. So what I need to have? I need to have this digit. So if you will try to divide that 6, 8, 6 7, 8, 9 percentile 10, what would you get as a remainder? You, will, you would get 9 as a remainder. So instead of this condition, you can use rem. So I will just replace condition with rem, which is remainder. 
and why I have given num equal to num slash 10, num slash 10, why, why I have given? Because whenever you will divide this 6, 7, 8, 9 by 10, it would give the quotient. And what is the quotient? Let us, let us see 6, 7, 8, 9 slash 10. It would give me the quotient as 6, 7, 8. So in this step itself, it the number became 6, 7, 8. And why we are doing this step? We are trying to do this step because we want at last to at last this number should become zero because that would satisfy our logic and from here you understood that here the condition for while loop would be n should be greater than zero so from our discussion itself we got the condition what should be the condition so so i guess n greater than zero whenever n become whenever number become zero at that time itself it the while loop will be completed and our output would be be means would, uh, would be resulted i would say yeah so here i would write number greater than equal to greater than zero and i would try to print the the sum itself because i want to have the sum of all digits sum of all digits i i would rather say so instead of this hello world i would write sum of sum of digits sum of digits and here i will give plus and remove this extra code and i would write sum because i want the output as sum so just try to print it and check whether you are getting the correct output or not and if you will get any error try to resolve it so i will just try to run it and check whether i am getting the correct output or not i am getting the current correct output that is 30 6 plus 7, 13, 13 plus 8, 21, and 21 plus 9, which is 30. So again, in this question itself, I would try to, to tell you one logic that was re related to reverse a number, question 4, you can also see that. But here still, if I will just use star 10, means into 10 plus remainder, the output will be converted into the reverse of number. So just try to run it. And you will check that some instead of sum of digits, we can write reverse of reverse, reverse of the number, reverse of the number re, is the this one sum. So it would reverse our number itself. That that would be nine eight nine eight seven six. So from this sum of digit concept itself, you can just use star ten and you will get the reverse of a number so i guess i am able to make you understand the concept to to use sum of digits so if you like my content please like the video and kindly subscribe my channel to motivate me thanks a lot bye bye